send me some sorry lines But passion undying That the oceans can't subside The storm blew from behind With all of your lies You pushed Today's Polymer Clay TV, we're going to show you a couple of transferring techniques. And out on the table here, we have some pendants and things that have been made with different kinds of transfers. And for this, you're going to need your transfers that are already on a transfer paper. This is a pre-printed design that I have colored in with Prismacolor pencils. And I've got my little bunch of pencils here. and. The black was already printed on the paper and I decided that I wanted it to look kind of like a, a burning, fiery kind of a thing. So I've colored it in with orange and red and yellow colored pencil. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to transfer this onto a piece of clay. And here are two that have already been done. This one was just a color pencil drawing and so is this. And um, this one is left in the matte surface that, that it comes out after baking. This is a cured piece. This one I coated with some liquid clay and made it shiny. So it's got a shiny surface to it. So with this type of transfer paper, you have a choice to leave your surface matte or to seal it with something shiny. All right, so you'll need a bone folder for this or something that you can rub it, like a popsicle stick. You don't have to have a bone folder. Right. But something like that that you can really rub it onto the clay because you want to make sure that your design adheres to the clay and really grabs onto, the, the clay really grabs onto, excuse me. Right, so I'm using my, <clears throat> my uh, work surface here so that I can peel it off because I'm going to burnish this. And I don't want to use my blade. I don't have luck with getting my blade to take the thing off the tabletop, so I use a work surface. <laughs> So you're just going to burnish this onto the clay, which my base here is Primo Translucent mixed with Primo Pearl. Yeah, it's best to do it on a lighter clay. It just shows up better. Yeah, I mean, if you tried to transfer this onto, like, ultramarine blue or something, right. probably wouldn't turn out that well. So my suggestion would be if you wanted your whole piece to be like a dark color that you just um, burnish your design onto a really thin piece of whatever, like a light color that you can stick to your darker colored piece later. Right. And you can always add some inks to it or anything mm -hmm. to change the color. Right. You think that's enough? I think that's enough. Okay. This paper is really magical and it doesn't take a whole lot of time to get your image stuck on there. So now what we're going to do, since we're doing it on camera, is we're going to improvise with a bucket of water. Um, the directions on this um, paper say to use running water. It doesn't really matter either way. When I first did it at home, I used a dish. And what you're going to do is actually dissolve this paper right off the image by sloshing it around. <laughs> And you'll see as you slush in here, the paper actually disappear. And once the paper has disappeared off the clay, you can pull the piece out. And there it is. You've got a perfect transfer. It's perfectly transferred onto your clay. It's that easy. Very, very easy. And then just dry off. And I would suggest that you allow this to air dry before putting it in the oven. It just, it's better, I think, if you let the um, water evaporate off of the transfer rather than trying to pat it dry. You don't want to smudge it or move it or anything. So just allow that, set it off to the side, let it air dry, and then pop it in the oven. And Or what I was going to do with this one was I had actually set up this design so it would fit inside this little rectangular cookie cutter. So cut out my design. And then bake it and you're done. It's that easy, that quick, where there's no stop-motion camera. <laughs> <laughs> right, and I'm going to show you another um, kind of paper which is called LaserTran, and you can find it at lasertran.com. And basically, we've already put the image right onto the clay, and we're going to do it the same way, 
and we're going to bring our water in. It's, it's best to do this under a running, running water, but sometimes you just don't have it. And what's going to happen with this one is once it gets wet, it's going to peel off. And I think you can start to see this. And you've got yourself a gorgeous image. And there's the paper. That is how easy it is. I mean, the laser tran, let me tell you the difference between the laser tran and then the paper that we have in our shop. The laser tran gives a more glossy finish, whereas the other paper gives a more matte finish. So depending on what your project is, you want to decide if you want to use the laser tran or you want to use this paper that, that rinses away. So the laser tran is basically, it slide, the paper slides off, and then our transfer paper, it dissolves. So see what you like best and play around with it. Thanks for joining us. You send me some sorry lines But passion undying that the oceans can't subside The storm blew from behind With all of your light 